Hey up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to my glorious Bannerman to some more dwarf action. So we last left off, uh, we actually went on a nice little expedition with our slayers over here. Uh, we went ahead and took this province as you can see and then we destroyed all the buildings in it to give us a bit of money. Uh, yeah, and we got to see the slayers in action which was epic because the slayers just went to town on the enemy. Uh, they were taking no prisoners. On top of that, we were also being besieged by Car Lord or Kai Lord of the End Times. Um, I assume he's a pretty important person, um, at least in the Beastman army. So um, it'll be fun to go ahead and fight this siege later on. That'll be kind of epic. Um, on top of that, you guys were actually telling me that this green resource over here uh, is worth so much money. And I should go ahead and send a merchant there. So that's precisely what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a merchant and then we'll probably build another one as well. Because there's two bits there. And then we're going to send them over there and hopefully take that resource. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, yeah, we also took out our general. I'm actually going to move him a little bit further away. Um, yeah, we moved him further away because this city's currently got plague and we don't want we don't want him to die of plague. That would absolutely suck. But then after, once the plague's gone from this city, I think it's gone from all my cities, right? I don't think we have plague anywhere else, which will be lovely. So, yeah, I think we just end the turn. Uh, hopefully, the beastmen over here siege us. And we can fight this battle because that would be absolutely epic. I also went ahead and turned down my graphics a little bit. Uh, not because my computer was struggling. But I think the engine was kind of struggling um, with this game uh, a little bit. And especially because I'm recording as well. That always drops a few frames because I don't have a capture card or anything. Uh, so yeah, I turned down my graphics a little bit. Uh, hopefully that makes the game just a little bit more smooth. But yeah, yeah. Hopefully that just cleans it up a little bit. But it's definitely not my computer. I'm sure my computer is fine handling uh, a game which is, what, like 10 years old now. Oh, what? Well, he didn't attack us. That was anticlimactic. I was really looking forward to that siege. Oh, hopefully he comes back. He's obviously too scared of uh, Lagan, Grudge Beer. He's obviously way too scared of him. Um, how unfortunate. So let's go and just replenish these guys. I, I did. Uh, well, yeah, we'll replenish these dudes. What unit has 100 of that unit? Never trust an elf. Wise words. So let's go and replenish them. That's a little bit of gold, which we don't really care about. Devastation. Characters affected. Why is it still affected? Does he, does he just have plague? I think he does just have plague. It's just him and no one else. So we might as well move these guys back into the city then. Oh no, then they suddenly have plague. So maybe it's these units which have plague. I'd much rather the city suffer from plague than he suffers. Because if a king dies, that'd really, really suck. That'd really suck. Okay, cool. So we'll just do that. Um, I'd much rather keep my character safe. I mean, surely the plague won't be affecting us for too much longer anyway. Even though I've kind of just re-entered it into the city, which probably wasn't the best idea. So we've got a merchant up here. We'll start sending him over here. We'll get there next turn, hopefully. And it also scouts out, scouts out a little bit. Gives us a bit more vision. Which will be nice. Can we build another merchant here? We cannot. Because we actually already... Okay, guys. So, I don't really know what just happened there. Uh, it just minimized my, my game and then stopped me recording. Which was a bit weird. But, oh, well. Oh, but it looks a bit... Uh, this dude um, of Ostermark is actually going to go ahead and take a province. Uh, at least the rebel province over there. Which will be interesting. I guess... Oh, hello. Some more borderlandsmen. They've kind of replenished a few men now. And are getting a little bit cocky. Uh, what are we building over here? We're building large sewers. Which is a good idea. That should hopefully sort out the problem there. And then we can always just focus on, um, let's just go ahead and merge them up as well and then replenish the last guys. Yeah, we can always go ahead and build some more mining networks if we need to to get a bit more money. But I'm, I'm gonna, I'm more than like, oh, yeah, maybe it's a good idea to just bring this guy over. It's a long walk for him. It's actually not actually that longer of a walk. It's only like a couple turns. Yeah, he'll make his way over there. He can also scout around a little bit more as well. Um, hold on. Yeah, let's just turn the music down a little bit. I, I do really enjoy the music, but I don't want it to be too loud. It's only you know, a couple percent will make a difference. Yeah, I actually want them to attack me here. I'm going to leave this army here just to defend, just in case. Um, we don't want to be too risky there. What are the Yorks doing? The Yorks are just chilling right now. The Slayers are going to get the hell out of there. Get back to base camp. And replenish. Oh, there's some more Orcs over here. There's probably an Orc city, like, right here. Or, like, probably around here. Or maybe even further down. Or maybe even center. There's probably an Orc city around here somewhere. Which we can go ahead and maybe even skirmish off next. Um, yeah, maybe we just end the turn. I don't really want to spend this money too much because I kind of want to build a, a small stockpile. Oh yeah, are we already trading? I would take your map information though. So you want 1400 gold for a bit of map, but you probably know a lot of stuff. 
let's take it. I mean, it's it's not really. Yeah, that wasn't really worth it. I mean, I'm giving him 1,400 gold in total. But, you know, we get to see a bit more of a map. It makes it a little, more, little, bit, little bit more pretty, I guess. Oh, yeah, something I was thinking about doing. For, like, every five turns, what uh, what I would normally do in a medieval game was kind of toggle fog of war and just kind of have an episode of showing you guys what's going on. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you would just like a small, like, two, three-minute video just showing you guys, oh, yeah, look, the Empire's done stuff here. Oh, the Chaos Lords have done stuff there. Um, so, yeah, let me know if you think that would be interesting. Uh, so what do they want me to do? They want me to take a province, right? They, well, they want me to take that or make it happy. Uh, the region of the frontier of our enemies, but is undermanned um, and ready to attack. This is Chris, you increase our forces here by four. By at least four. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm, I think I'm just going to stick this army in here, right? We stick the army in here. That should do the, do the quest next turn. Oh, this is not good. We are really suffering from attrition, and he's also still getting affected. Hopefully, our last, uh, you know, our... Hopefully, our sewers just sort this out soon, because I really don't want my king to die. He's still being affected, so he might as well just still be in the city. Like, he might as well just still be in the city. Replenish everyone, and then go ahead and uh, rebuild these guys. Um, and then, do we need any more units? I don't think we do need any more units. Just because this army really isn't going to like be able to take uh, Karak, Karak, uh, or Karaz, Karak. That city is just way too strong for the enemy. We can, however, build some more stuff. So do we have any more mines to be building? Maybe getting a lev leather tanner would be pretty good. Giving our infantry some extra... But that is a lot of money. That's five grand. Would I rather have a better, better weapons? That is the question. Would I rather have a better... Well, let's see if we can get any more mines anywhere. Because they're probably the most important stuff. Um, I don't like that big that big circle there. It's very scary. I guess our miner will soon actually check that out. Yeah, so he's already getting 200 gold there. There's several merchants already here, though. Which he's probably going to have to fight for it. Uh, they're probably absorbing some of the money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's getting 250 gold from it. I'm not sure how much this Border Prince dude is getting from it. I can't even see it. It's a 5% chance. There's no way he's going to do it. Let's make our way... Um, oh, no. We're actually getting more resource. We pushed him off of it, which is kind of funny. So that should hopefully be giving us a bit more money, which will be nice. They're laying siege to this, which is cool. It kind of protects our, our western borders. Yorks are still chilling. Oh, there's a Night Goblin army there. We'll be under siege next turn. I mean, we could just push forward and take this army out now. Like, we could slaughter this army in the field, I think. Oh, they, they look pretty good. Yeah, they have 20 defense. Jesus. Um, yeah, if we could kill them before they reinforce, that'd actually be a, a nice... Uh, would I much rather defend, though? That's the question. I'd probably receive a lot less casualties if I just defend. And I also have a turn of recruiting, so I can actually recruit a unit if I if I want to. Which I feel like hey, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and recruit. What do we want to recruit? We need something which only takes a turn. Um, we could get some of these guys, some Thunderers. That will obviously be brutal for the enemy. Uh, do I, I think I just want another unit of like plain infantry. They're nice and cheap. That should hopefully boost boost our numbers by a little bit. Um, I feel like we also want to recruit some more men over here. Uh, do yeah, do we want to recruit some more infantry? I don't really want to get any more long beards just because they cost so much, and I'm trying to improve my economy right now. So maybe we just get another like two units of two units of warriors, and then that'll be plenty. We can use them to reinforce anywhere we want to. Over here is fine. Actually, over here is not fine. We have, like, no infantry. Yeah, I'm going to go move the infantry over here. Let's go and get two more units of infantry over on here. Because they, like, yeah, they have no, no... Well, actually, I guess they do have great beards and they do have long beards of axes. So let's split that up. One, one in each, yeah. That seems like yeah, that will be fine. Okay, cool. Let's end the turn. He, the whole merchant, slowly making his way over. Slowly but surely. I'm sure he'll get there eventually. 
And then when he does finally get there, I mean, yeah, he probably even when he does get there, he won't be able to beat the Empire Merchant. The Empire Merchant just will be way too good for him. So we'll have to probably train him up somewhere else first. And then when he's eventually good enough, he'll then try and steal that resource from the enemy. But luckily, we managed to get the other one, uh, which was good. Uh, miracle. Sir, one of our rulers, air, uh, wounded, ended in air. What, what, what happened to him? Oh, hired an engineer. A wounder engineer. Okay. Sorry, I, I just thought that said wounded there for a second. And I was like, no. I hope that doesn't mean anything bad's going to happen. At all. Yeah, I think he just got some more infantry, right? Because I swear he didn't have this many units here beforehand. Who did it? Was it you? Oh well, whatever. Mission successful. Oh yeah, we got two units of dwarf warriors. So that's nice. Two free units of dwarf warriors. Lovely. Um, I want them to attack me just so that we can fight them. Because I can't fight them in the field now, which is a bit upsetting. But oh well. Um, artillery factory. Oh, that would be nice. I guess we just go ahead and get this armory. It gives us some heavy mail, which will be nice. Why can we get heavy mail here straight away? And why is it so cheap? Yeah, we'll definitely get that. Get some heavy mail going on our infantry. Maybe it's only to specific units? Because over here, like, we can get leather. Oh, it's probably because we already have the leather system. I, I think that I'm right in saying this. But this game, like, once you have the core building, the upgrades to the buildings are a lot cheaper and don't take as long. Just because you kind of already got the foundations there and then you're just expanding upon them. Um, you're just, you know, kind of, like getting new equipment in or you're just you know knocking through a wall and building another room um which is something if that is like what's happening i actually really like that it's a really cool idea oh there there's the dwarf do not anger me mortal yeah we need this guy to start leveling oh my god he's already getting me an extra 400 gold that's mad Just seeing if there's any good resources to be having around here. Because he might as well sit on a resource whilst he's getting over here. I mean, this wheat isn't going to be giving him much. Yeah, 25 gold. But he might as well be getting it because there's something else for him to be getting right now. And then he can move and try and take one of these resources for the time being. Did they actually lose against these rebels? That's embarrassing. You embarrass me. Our large sewers have been built, so hopefully that some hopefully helps out with our our uh, disease problem. Over here, what are we building? Uh, we could actually get a large sewers, but I'm not going to. We don't need happiness in any of our buildings, which is nice. Yeah, because look, like a leather tanner here, which is what we already have over here, I'm pretty sure. What does it look like, quickly? Um, okay, like that. Yeah, we actually already have... Oh no, we have a blacksmith, and we're just upgrading to a next level? To an armorer. So do we not already have... Uh... Hmm. Oh well, that confuses me. Oh well. Um, yeah, so we don't really need it here, because I'm more than happy just to train all my infantry over there. I'm pretty sure we can build some more mines over here. I'm pretty sure I saw a mine network at, at one of these provinces. It's not this one. Uh, sewers, which I'm probably definitely going to build here in this there's a mine network. Because getting sewers would just be... Oh, we should also have a jewelry workshop. That would be getting us loads of money. So we probably want to be building that after our sewers. And then uh, there's probably some mining networks over here. We're actually already getting sewers here. There's a sawmill here, which is good. Is there really not a, a mining network at all here? There's sewers here, which I'll probably get. I'll probably just get sewers everywhere. I think that's probably, like, one of the smartest ideas. Just because, you, well, you, you guys have seen how devastating the plague is in our capital. It is just slaughtering everyone. It really is. Like, this used to have, like, 18,000 people here. 18,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Oh, crap, I forgot to move my slayers back. No, hopefully the orcs don't attack me. Even if they did attack me, my slayers would would stick by their honor and die in battle. But luckily the orcs didn't attack me, so we can actually retreat them back. Because I definitely don't want to lose that army anytime soon. Especially with the slayers and that slayer general there as well. His ability just slaughters everyone, so. 
Fellowship, my lord, a ruler has hired um, some dude. Now you can train his troops in all your mercenary camps. Okay. Motto, the cut price, cut throats, you can afford. Yes, they have battle cry. Okay, cool. So we can hire. It would be nice if it told me what general hired this. It just says, my lord, a ruler has hired some dude. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter. So you want me to go to their capital and take it? What would you give me if I did? Some of my best units available. So I'd actually get some, like, long beards and stuff. That'd be pretty epic. I would not lie. That'd be nice. Maybe the Slayers can make their way back um, and get an army and then go on an expedition to take it. They have 15 turns to do so, so maybe, yeah, maybe that'll be a good idea. What are they doing? Are they ever going to attack me? Seriously. We just keep on replenishing her and keep on losing some troops. Um, these organ guns are so tempting to buy. I'm not going to lie. But I mean, if they want to wait three turns before attacking me, that's fine. Because then we can upgrade all our units with better stuff. Um, I'm not quite sure what he's doing. We're just going to... Yeah. Well, we might as well just... He's a prince as well. He's like a good one of their generals. Yeah, three units there. And then... Oh, they're good. They're very good. But we have our long beards. It's fine. So Prince Logner's going to go into battle. Oh yeah, and I, we could attack in night and actually get rid of them. But I want to kill both our armies. I don't see why we wouldn't kill both our armies. Because I want to. Um, I'm no coward. I'm not going to fight them in, fight at night time. I really like it how you guys um, are accepting the fact that with my with my generals, with my dwarven generals, if they die in battle, like that's that's fine. That was their that's pretty much their purpose, you know. They're warriors. They're gonna they're gonna fight in battle to the very last. They're never gonna retreat, even if they're outnumbered. Okay, they're gonna fight now, to I the cut last. I cut out the cutscene because it was taking um, not long, but it was you know it was taking a couple minutes, and I don't really know why. I think my computer is um, is just. Just feeling a bit under the weather today. I don't really know what it's doing. It's it's just, you know, eating up my FPS. So I'll hopefully sort that out in the next episode. So don't worry about that. So yeah, we're against the Border Prince. Uh, we have this massive hill though. Look at it. If we had some artillery, that would be absolutely delicious. We could just stick it on top of that hill and just bombard them. But we do not, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have some crossbowmen. Our one range unit, which we can stick down here to hope. Actually, if we can just stick them on the top of a hill. Like there. Oh, and they can just, like, hopefully they can shoot all the way down there just constantly. Because you can't actually get up this ledge there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll leave them there. Um, our infantry will go over here. Um, or at least half our infantry will go over here. We'll make sure we blockade this as much as possible uh, with this unit. We don't want any of their soldiers kind of getting up here. So, we'll do that with them. And then we'll stick these three over here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be defensive this battle or aggressive, but right now I'm just kind of, you know, fortifying this position if I need to be, if I need to. Because um, I know they do actually have a lot of elite, like they have a lot of elite infantry. Because I know they have their their elite like hammers and then they also have their elite uh, pikemen as well, which I have to be kind of careful of. And they have a really good general in this battle. Oh, does he have a, did he? I swear Prince Logan didn't have this last time. His insult gives dwarfs fight in rage. So I guess that boosts their stats. Okay, Prince Logner's going to sit on top of a hill with his elite hammers. Oh, they look awesome. And he's going to say, Dwarfs! I do not want a single border man to get on top of this hill. Do me proud. And that's that's what he will say. Cool, so we can actually hit him from here. Nice. So what do we have? We have their archers, which we want to kill straight away. And then their general, which we'll probably move on to afterwards. So yeah, I guess all their reinforcements have arrived straight away as well. Yeah, you can see, look at them. They are really, like, these are some of their strong troops. Yeah, all of these units look really strong. Especially these guys, though. They look like they're going to take some work to kill. And this ha heavy cavalry is just going to be so annoying. But nonetheless, we, we are dwarfs, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, hopefully, we'll, we'll be unleashing our volley soon on this unit. I mean, look at that hill. That hill is crazy. Are they glitched out? Because this is they're firing missiles, but they're not. Yeah, where are their missiles? They're not actually shooting. Maybe I'll move them back a little bit. Yeah, let's run them back just a little bit. And then shoot. Maybe that, then they'll actually shoot now. So I guess there was a little bit of a glitch there or something. That makes sense. I guess. 
Um, let's go ahead and form shield wall as well with these guys. Why not? It'll give, make it just give us a bit of protection. And we also have these long beards back here to go to town when we need to be. Are they actually shooting now? They're not shooting. What are you doing, boys? Okay, now I'll shoot their missiles. Are you going to be shooting now? I guess they've just glitched out and we can't shoot. Because they're just not. <laughs> okay, maybe it's just maybe it's just that mountain. Let's see. If we come over here. And now we shoot. Do they... Nope, I guess they just glitched out, yeah. Which is really annoying, because that kind of nullifies my, my like, missile range. Because I actually have such a range advantage right now. Like, I can literally just force them to do anything. Like, I can force them to come at me. But they're just not shooting. So now it means I actually have to go to them. Which is very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating. Um, okay, cool. I guess we just advance then. We have to. Which is unfortunate. Um, but, yeah, I guess we have to do it. So let's advance there with them guys. And then these guys will just come up. Because we have nothing to really kill their heavy infantry. Which is just my only worry right now. We literally have nothing to kill it. So their heavy cavalry is going to go to town on me. Uh, where does I guess Prince Logna will go with the majority. Oh, they're shooting now. What the hell? Are they... Are they are they shooting now? I swear I just saw some missiles go out. If they are, we're, we're running back to our defensive position and killing their missiles first. Yeah, they're shooting now. Cool. So come back here. <laughs> come back here, man. I was only joking. I didn't I didn't really mean to you to go forward. Duh. Yeah, so we'll just kill their missiles first. Because, yeah, we're actually receiving quite a bit of fire already. We're actually losing some dwarfs, which are going to be very useful later on. But at least our crossbowmen are getting some free shots off from their, their units here. We pretty much actually nullified their missile advantage already. We, we only lost like probably like 10 dwarfs so far. Yeah, we're slaughtering their missiles now. Lovely. And now my, my boys are getting into formation again. And then once we've killed them, which it looks like we pretty much have now, they're, they're running away. We'll change focus and try and kill some of these more important units. I don't think we'll get through their armor, but these pikemen we might actually be able to kill. So we'll just start shooting some shots off for their pikemen, I think. And maybe trying to get rid of these guys. Yeah, we kill these guys pretty quickly. So yeah, and they're heavily armored, so I imagine they're, they're brutal in combat. But we're killing like 10 each volley. Yeah, we kill it. Oh my god, they're getting slaughtered by our crossbowmen. No wonder they're running at me. Jesus. Uh, well, yeah, we need to run these guys back, but we're probably going to lose our crossbowmen now. God, them pikemen got annihilated. Cool, let's reform up them. Form up our, sh form up our shield walls. They can run back as well. Prince Logner's come off his hill just to kind of admire the battlefield a little bit more. Our longbeards are ready to get into battle. Cool, let's, let's go. Um, and I don't normally pause it. It was just, what are they doing? Run. My crossbowmen are so glitched today. Run, boys. Get out the hell out of there, dwarfs. We need to be killing this heavy cavalry. Like, for sure. This heavy cavalry is going to be, like, the bane of my life. I'm going to change my focus on them as soon as I get my crossbowmen further enough back. Give their cataphracts. I just assume they're really heavily armoured. And they're going to be a bitch to kill. Yeah, they look pretty heavily armoured. Same with these guys, really. But maybe we'll be able to get more kills on these horses. Yeah, we actually... Oh my god, our crossmen are doing so much damage. Have they just, like, glitched out and then suddenly doing, like, an immense amount of damage? Or have they always actually done this much damage? Our shield walls are fine. I don't want to break my shield walls at all. Um, and we can actually almost envelop them from this side if we need to. Yeah, just constantly... If we can kill these horses, like, straight away, then that would be perfect. We're doing a lot less... Oh, no, we're not even doing less damage now. These crossbowmen are amazing. I don't know if they're just doing amazing because they've glitched out or something, but... 
I do not mind either way. So let's go ahead and just outflank these unit of swords. It'll help us kill a little bit more and it'll also help our shield will just do a little bit more damage. So we changed the rest. We don't really have much ammunition left, but we're just trying to kill a few more of their horses. Oh, we actually run out of ammunition now. We killed a few of their horses and we slaughtered the rest of these horses. We just hope, hopefully can't take too much damage when we're... Because, you know, we've got to fight their big unit, like, big group of elite infantry in a second. Which I'm actually going to bring over the rest of my dwarven infantry over here. Because we're going to have to fight their, like, elite dudes in a second. Well, right now. Which our longbeards are going to definitely have to get involved in. And so is Prince Logner, I think. Um, yeah, these guys just need to get over here. And we've got the rest of our reinforcements coming, which will be nice. And we also do have our Dwarven Rage. So when, when our Longbeards are engaged, I think I will go ahead and pop our Dwarven Rage. So slam these guys into the side. Lovely. Slow it down as well so we can actually watch the combat. So our Longbeards are now involved. Let's do pop our Dwarven Rage. So we are actually fighting, but at least we have the hill advantage as well. So that should be giving us a nice advantage as well. Prince Logner is going to make his way over to the center, get ready to get, in, get into combat. Where is their heavy cavalry? Their heavy cavalry is still down here, thank God. Like, I, I feel like this battle would have actually been a lot closer if we would have gone ahead and... Enemy general fallen, nice. Um, yeah, if this cavalry would have survived, I think this battle would have been a lot harder than it was. Our dwarf and rage, though. Look at our dwarfs go. Our longbeards. Yeah, you do hit them till there's nothing left. Slaughter them, Longbeards. And our shield wall is holding as well. That's the important thing. I think this unit can pretty much break shield wall now. Break shield wall and just go for them. Oh, this Dwarven Rage must be, like, boosting our men just so much as well. Oh, is this, this is both their elite units here as well. So these, these Longbeards are going to have to really go do some work. They're fighting like their Axemen and their like elite knights. Their Teline Legion. Do your job, boys. Do your job. Like, oh, we're going to send Logner over here as well, I think. Oh, they have one, one horseman here. That's funny. Um, yeah, like... I was thinking, like, I've been talking to quite a few friends about picking up uh, some fantasy, uh, like, models and stuff to actually play. But because they've now released Age of Sigma, I don't know if it's, like, worth it. And because it's so expensive as well, which I guess was the reason I haven't actually done it yet. It was just because it is so expensive and, like, being a broke student, I don't really have, like, any money whatsoever. Um, so, like, I guess I just, I guess I just haven't really got around to it. And with the Age of Sigma as well. Like, obviously, I was going to wait till I had money to actually buy the models, but I don't know if, know if there's even any point now. Like, I guess I'll just wait and see, wait how Age of Sigma does, because Age of Sigma doesn't make me, like, too, like, it doesn't make me want to play the game. Like, the reason I love fantasy, like, well, at least the reason I've got into fantasy, is the fact that these big units just all clashing. Whereas, from what I've seen of Age of Sigma, like, this isn't a review of Age of Sigma. I, don't, I know nothing compared to other people, like, whatsoever. But, like, I feel like uh, Age of Sigma is just too much, like, 40k in the sense of, like, the small models. It's very, like, I guess you can bring, like, big armies and stuff. But, I don't know. I just like, I just like the look, the whole look of, yeah, I just like the whole look of fantasy so much. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to wait until picking up any models. And, obviously, if I do pick up some models, it will be in the future when I actually have some money. Um, oh, my general's charging in. Turn around and let's... We killed all these guys almost. Um, yeah, and when I do finally do pick up some models, it will probably be the Dwarven armies, of course. Because the Dwarves are just so epic. I love the way they play in fantasy as well. So Prince Logner is here. He's fighting their elite units. Good job, boys. We pretty much clean them up now. And we also have two more units in reserve as well. We might as well bring up... Because we need to kill this cavalry. This cavalry is going to really be causing us some issues. Where is Prince Logner? Is he like right in the fray or is he off to the side? I need to try to find him. He doesn't have a shield or anything on his back. Is he one of the... Oh my god, he's over here by himself. He's not with his unit. He's just like, come at me then, you scum. Nice, we routed them. Let's chase him down. 
Um, but yeah, sorry, that, that was really unclear what I was saying. I, I want to pick up a Dwarven army uh, from Fantasy, but because of Age of Sigma, I'm not too sure if it will be worth it building up, and because I don't really have any money at the moment, uh, being a broke ass student, I, yeah, I'm probably just going to wait um, until, you know, maybe they've changed Age, Age of Sigma a little bit, maybe they'll um, actually bring back some more of a Fantasy stuff, or just edit Sigma so that it's more like Fantasy or something, I don't know. I guess only time will tell, but yeah. The long-term goal is I want to have a really nice Dwarven army. Because I think that will be absolutely epic. And the Dwarves are obviously absolutely epic. So Prince Logner is just chasing down the cowards running away. We actually do want to definitely kill these guys as well. Um, yeah, and their, their generals... Hopefully we can kill this general as well. Because I think this is the, the general with like five commander points as well. Or five commander stars. So he's actually really good. Again, this is another disadvantage to the dwarfs. I can, I can barely run down their soldiers because I just don't have any cavalry whatsoever. And because I can't get gyrocopters either, um, like uh, Beard Force 1, Beard Force 2 and stuff, uh, I can't actually, you know... One, once you can get them, though, that would be epic. Are they going to chase? Oh, cool. We're not letting him escape. Yeah, fight him. Fight him, Prince Logner. Kill him. Prince Logner's all the way over here. He's like, wait for me, guys. Their general is still alive as well. So hopefully Prince Logner can actually do the, the killing blow on him. Let's watch him. He's like, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Come back here, you coward. Chase him down, boys. They're going to try. This is actually really smart from the AI. They're like hammer and ambulance striking me on like every position. Well, at least you had the decency to tell us. At least you had the decency to tell us. Come back here, you cowards. Prince Logden's leading the charge. Have we killed their general now? Because I swear he... Oh, no, there he is. He's getting smashed up. Oh, my God. If he runs away again, I'm going to be so annoyed. This is so dumb. Just die already. I mean, it's smart by the AI, like, running away. He's literally only got one man left as well. This is so ratty. If he kills, like, if he kills the prince in a, like, impact charge, how many hit, hit points does he have? Like, this dude is strong. And I don't have any missiles to shoot him to death either. My hammers are going for it, though. Like, we finally! A flag in a veil to whoever killed that man. Seriously. Nice, we won. Clear victory. We lost 300 soldiers and killed 600. Almost 700. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hopefully we actually kill both these armies as well. That would be brilliant. Oh, that's an awesome picture of some of these Slayer. I assume that's a Slayer just going to town. That's pretty epic. Now, that's another thing I'm so excited for Total War Warhammer as well. Is the fact that now it's like a fantasy game. They can actually create, like, instead of having to have realistic... Um, Instead of having to have realistic, like, battlegrounds and uh, maps and stuff, they can just create these epic, like, these epic maps with just mountains and, um, I don't know, like, humongous trees and pa passes and, um, I don't know, like, lava and just all this crazy stuff they can now add in and, like, epic snows with, like, multiple levels to it and stuff and with, like, these really crazy fortresses. Like, they can just add all this stuff in now and it's just, I'm so excited. Um, I don't need money, so let's execute the scum. Because screw them. Good job, Prince Logner. You did good. Did you gain any traits, or did you just route them? Oh, it looks like you just routed them. I think you might have gained a command. I'm not too sure. Oh, well, either way. Congratulations, dude. You won another battle. It's your second battle. And now we can just replenish all these dudes. Um, some of them gained this experience as well. So that is always lo lovely. Our money situation is kind of good at the moment. We want to keep uh, pushing that money advantage though by building all the buildings we can. Um, obviously, because we want to we want to go ahead and... Oh, we can actually get a nice brewery here. That's kind of cool. I don't think there's actually anything resource-wise in this one. Um, yeah, obviously we want to be spending the majority of our money on getting resource buildings. Like over here we can 100% get some of these guys increases our dwarven mining network so we probably definitely want to get that there's a lot of our money though but we will do it nonetheless 
five turns. That should be fine. How are our Slayers doing? They're slowly making its way their way back. They are. Okay, cool. I think we just end the turn. Uh, we have some money to spend, but we don't really need to spend it. Um, I could just get another unit of, of uh, Warriors over here. Or just a unit of Thunderers. Yeah, let's just get a unit of Thunderers. They'll be interesting to see what they're like. I imagine they're obviously just like Riflemen or Musketmen. But just bigger and better. Or smaller and better, I'm hoping. Yeah, we'll end the turn, and then we'll probably end the episode once we've uh, got on to the next turn. Um, I, I'm really curious if the Bordermen are actually going to uh, siege me in Karaz Karak. It'll be cool if they do, because it's a lot. It'll be a lot easier to kill their armies in my best fortress than it would be in the open field. Uh, no, they actually ran away, which might actually encourage me to push out. And I think we've lost Plague. Yes, we've lost Plague. Huzzah! Finally, and we also have our Thunderers as well. 12 missile damage, that's pretty impressive. Castle ready to upgrade, where's that? Over here, ooh, we can actually upgrade this. Nice, which is, I'll probably do that, yeah. I'll probably upgrade that castle and make it a little bit more defendable. This is like our Slayer capital, so we want to have a, a, good, uh, a good place there. Why is the, the right, has the right land gone to war with everyone? Everyone's just declared war on the Reichland. What the hell? All the Empire factions. Did he like turn to chaos or something? Oh my god, if he did turn to chaos, that'd be like really funny. How much? Yeah, you're getting me so much money. Get your merchant score up, mate. Knowledge of customs. Keep it up, dude. You need to be strong enough to get rid of this guy. For sure. Uh, you can keep making your way up here because I'm sure some of these resources are a lot more valuable. Um, oh, you've got a load of traits, though. Oh. Yeah, you've got some minus traits. Because you're crooked. Um, yeah, that's actually really interesting. But all these factions are now at war with the Empire. Like, the, the that's the king, right? I think. I'm pretty sure that faction's this dude here, and he's the king. So that's actually really interesting and funny. Cool, so I'm actually going to end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we will push forward and wipe out this army. Um, we have enough cannons, I think, and enough, like, missiles and stuff just to destroy them. This is actually looking a little bit scary, though, but we should be fine once we've replenished everyone. Um, and we should be able to hold the city anyway. So, yeah, once we've destroyed this army and then we destroy these two armies, we will push forward and start taking cities. I don't see why we, we, why we wouldn't go on the offensive after that. Um, because we have just, like, slaughtered them in, in many occasions, so. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment, uh, down below. That would be absolutely awesome if you are enjoying this series. I have said before, if I get 70 likes on any of these videos, I will go ahead and do an hour special. Uh, so make sure to, to try and work towards that goal, and hopefully we can hit it sooner rather than later. Um... Also, let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do like a, a small like three minute episode of just where I turn off Fog of War and just kind of check out what everyone's doing. Like it's hardly going to um, give me any advantages. It's not going to be like, oh, look, the Orcs have six million armies here because um, I assume they already have six million armies in the Fog of War anyway. Or like, oh, look, the Border Prince is weak here. I should attack. Like I can pretty much see everything. And I also have... Um, I always have a diplomat around here somewhere as well, which I could just send and scout. So it's not really going to be giving me any advantages. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, something for you guys to kind of see what else is going on in the world. Because obviously the dwarfs are not, you know, the only faction in this game. So, yeah, I, I kind of like doing that. But, um, yeah, well, it was up to you guys if you want me to do it or not. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time and fish out.